Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So it's like, um, I don't know, I guess it's like five in the morning, something like that. Been over here for a while. Um, I'm at the shop and what I wanted to do is I'm trying to make something that I can pick this motor up with and stuff it in the car, but make it where it's real even and whatever. The problem is, <clears throat> is like right here, Every time you know you try to pick up a motor, you got it like this and trying to pick it up and whatever. It's just a pain in the ass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a kind of a jib, I guess you would call it, to go with my uh, cherry picker so that it'll go right across the top of the motor, have two chains coming down, and then I'll just be able to pick it up nice and even and then I can rock the motor back and forth when I'm Doing this by myself because this is just a, a mock-up block and a mock-up transmission i mean the transmission weighs maybe five pounds it's completely empty gutted out the motor's gutted out uh the motor's pretty heavy because i have the cylinder heads on it but it's still pretty lightweight compared to like a complete motor so i want to just uh build something that i could put this motor in and out a hundred times while I'm building the motor mounts, the transmission mounts and all that stuff and, and you know, building the headers and whatever, whatever I decide to build on this thing. And uh, I figured while I was doing that, I'd bring you guys over to the shop and let you watch. So what I got here, I found some uh, plate steel in the back. It's uh, about half inch thick. Pretty good chunk of steel. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. And I'm gonna lose, use that new Evolution saw. And I'll cut this. And then when I get it cut, I'm gonna use this. I'll weld this to it so that I could, uh, so I'll have a pick point for the cherry picker so that I got somewhere to pick that from. And I'll get that welded on here. But as I'm doing that, uh, I'll go ahead and film some of this crap. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the camera on and, and, work that way you know if you guys want to hang out or whatever if not that's fine too Go ahead and get that saw set up. cold there's no heat evolution saw you got to check those out <clears throat> and I'm not just saying that because they sent me a saw I mean man I've never had a saw like this before and you saw how fast that thing cut through that half inch steel I mean it just blasts through it like it's butter and you could just mow through it I mean it won't even slow the saw down and I just cut it slow right now and and then it's it's not hot and it's uh this is not sharp at all the edges are like super smooth, you know, it's a badass saw.
get the welder all set up now. So check out our new mass. So I want to thank uh, I want to thank uh, TNT Design. That's one of our sponsors, and uh, it was pretty cool that they made our new mass. And they're the they're the same people that make our shirts. TNT Design, good people, and they're in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. They do some nice work. <clears throat> Can't thank them enough for doing this, uh, making the mask for us and stuff, and the, the shirts and the, our banners and our shop, stuff like that. And uh, they do our hats and just all kinds of stuff, our beanies and whatever. And uh, I don't know if you can see it over there, the banner that we have over on the wall right here. <clears throat> but uh, good people. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this uh, welded up. And then uh, when I get ready to weld the hooks on or whatever, I'll try to film a little bit more. Got this welded up so it's nice and strong with the MIG. And then this way I have a big hook right here. I'll put a shackle or something if the hook doesn't fit through it on the cherry picker. And then uh, I'm gonna find some some pieces of metal, some pieces of steel right here that I could weld on here and uh, <clears throat> a spot that I could hook the chain to. But uh, let me figure out the, what I'm gonna use on there and then we'll go from there. Well, I dug out my cherry picker, my engine hoist and put this up on here. And you can see right here, I welded some uh, bolts. These are three eighths bolts by like uh, uh, five and a half inch, six inch, something like that. I welded those here and then drop the chain over the top of that. So what I'll do is I'll set up the tripod and see if this thing picks up this motor, you know, or if it's, or if it's real crooked or whatever, we'll see what happens. Well, let's see what happens. I'll, I'll start lifting it and see if it lifts it up nice and even. Yeah, mission accomplished. So that, that'll work out good. Um, and then I like it because the tail shaft is angled like this, just a little bit, so when I go to put it in the car, it'll it'll be easy to do, you know? And this'll, this'll be a tool that I'll be able to use a lot in the shop um, when I'm pulling the motor in and out, and I don't have to, you know, worry about the engine being all crooked and messed up in there and whatever. So I think it turned out pretty nice. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. So I figured before I shut this video off, I wanted to uh, have you guys go on YouTube and go check out uh, a couple new channels. Uh, not, not new, but uh, a couple channels that need some subs. 
and one of the newest guys is Terry from Coverman 66. Um, I've been talking to him a lot lately, and uh, the guy's an LS special, specialist, really cool guy. He's in New York, and uh, go check his channel out. He does some crazy stuff, putting LSs in everything. And uh, he, he's got one of them that he, that he has this S15 little uh, truck that it's like an all-wheel drive or something like that. And he, and he stuffs an LS in that thing and whatever. He does some really cool projects. And uh, he started to do some metalworking and whatever. I've been talking to him back and forth. Really good guy. Go check his channel out and give him some subs and, and uh, watch his videos and you know give him a thumbs up. And uh, the other channel is uh, NZ Mopar, and that's Glenn Ridd. That's our other channel. He's in uh, Australia. Right now he's in New Zealand. We're waiting for him to get here. Go check his channel out. And then the other YouTube channel is Sobering Restorations Services, and that's in Canada. And they're a bunch of goofballs that do really cool work, build badass hot rods and stuff. And they got they got some really good content on their channel. Go say hi and sub their channel and uh, you know give them some thumbs up and watch their videos and whatever and support some other YouTube channels. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Later. So I got the motor set in this thing. So I can start building the firewall and uh, the floors inside the car. So this is the mock-up motor. And that tool that I made worked really good. So it's sitting in there nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get the motor mounts put on it and start building motor mounts as I'm doing that and get you guys to follow along. Well, I got one motor mount spot welded in and then what I'm gonna do is I'll pull the motor out and then I'll weld around everything and then shape it and you know make it look nice. Right now it looks like crap just because I, I wanted to get it spot welded so to hold it to the frame. But uh, when I get the other side on, I'll try to show you some more. <clears throat> and then when I pull the motor out, like I said, I'll reshape all the motor mounts and everything so it looks really good. What do you think, Dottie? You gonna help? So I got this motor mount over here blasted in and the piece on the outside is just to hold the mount from moving and then that way I'll box it all in and everything to the frame. And uh, this side's pretty much done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start building the transmission cross member. And then when I build a cross member, get that sat down on the cross member, I can go ahead and pull this motor out of the way, this transmission and motor, get it out of here. It's just a mock-up anyways. Then that way I'll have plenty of room to jump inside the car and do all the welding and fabrication and whatever.